terrifying scary stories. One night, I was at my late aunt's house, who had just passed away. It was really late, and it was really windy outside. As I'm packing up some of her things, I hear footsteps upstairs. I thought to myself, there's no way. So I grabbed the flashlight and headed upstairs. I get to the room that was directly above me where I heard the footsteps, turn on the light, but there's nothing there. I already had goosebumps at this point, but then, as I turn to leave, I see a shadow in the corner moving towards me. I said, fuck that, I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. Then, as I'm running away, I hear footsteps chasing me. I almost fell down the stairs trying to run away. I've never left a place so fast in my life. One night, I'm driving back from a friend's place. Middle of nowhere. Pitch black night. My car is old, so it makes a lot of noises, but this time, there's something off. I start hearing whispers, not from the radio, mind you, it's off. I try to shrug it off as the wind or something. Then, out of nowhere, my car just dies, lights, hem gym, everything just as I pass this old, creepy cemetery. I'm sitting there, trying not to freak out, when I hear a tap on the passenger window. I freeze, heart racing. I slowly turn, expecting the worst, but there's nothing there. I muster the courage, step out to check the car. That's when I hear it, soft, whispering, right behind me, saying my name. I spin around, again, nothing. I swear, the moment the car started back up, I didn't stop until I hit the city lights. Never took that road again. So, I'm babysitting my nephew. He's four. We are playing with his toys in the living room, and everything's normal. Then, he stops, looks straight past me and says, Who is that behind you, uncle? I turn around, but nobody's there. I laugh it off, tell him he's got a wild imagination. But he keeps staring, insisting, someone standing right behind me. I'm getting the creeps now, so I decide to lie in the mood. I turn on the TV to distract him, but he won't budge. He just keeps pointing behind me and whispers, his watch. I carry him out of there and spend the night in my room. He's clinging to me the entire time. The next day, my sister tells me he's never had an imaginary friend, nor does he like making up stories. I haven't babysat since then. I'm home alone for the weekend, and my parents are out of town. It's broad daylight, nothing crazy. I'm just hanging out, watching TV, when there's a knock at the door. Thinking it's the mail or something, I'd open it. But there's nobody there. I said to myself, maybe it's just some kids playing pranks. I go back to my couch routine, 
But then, there's another knock. This time, I'm a bit annoyed. Check faster. But again, nothing. Now I'm getting a bit uneasy. But I tell myself, it's just the wind or something. I decide to make some lunch, trying to forget the whole thing. But as I'm in the kitchen, I hear a clear, distinct knock from the living room window. I freeze. This isn't funny anymore. I muster every ounce of courage, walk over, and yank the curtains open. Again, there's nobody there. But this time, there's a handprint on the outside of the window. Too big to be a kid's hand. I said, fuck that. And I lock every door, every window, and call my friend to come over. She gets here. I explain. But when we check the window again, the handprint's gone. She thinks I'm seeing things, but I know what I saw. I was never more grateful to not be alone. Never answered the door so fast after that. One night, I'm in the hospital. Broke my leg pretty bad, so they've got me overnight for observation. The room's small and clean. You know, a typical hospital vibe. But it feels a little too quiet. I'm lying there, trying to get some sleep, when I hear the sound of breathing. Not mine, but like someone's right next to my bed. I press the call button. Nurse comes in. I tell her, but she just checks the machines and says I'm alone. She leaves. The room goes silent again. But that breathing, it's still there slow and heavy. Then, the curtain around my bed sways, like someone just walked past. I'm thinking, this is crazy. Maybe the meds are messing with my head. I try to ignore it, close my eyes. But then, I feel a cold hand, like ice. Grab my uninjured leg, I scream, hit the light, and there's nothing there. No one. The nurse runs back in, checks everything, insists I was dreaming. But here's the thing. When I got discharged, I noticed something I hadn't before. A small, old hospital bracelet under my bed. Name faded, date from years ago. I didn't dare ask. I just wanted out. Never liked hospitals since. Make sure to like and subscribe for more stories.